Good afternoon, everyone. This is Moving Mark coming from Route 66 again. And this is a place I've been wanting to stop ever since I did my first trip back in uh, October, November last year. And I am not even going to give much away because you can see there's a bunny in the picture and there's a, uh, a fella behind me here in the, uh, the video. And I'm going to let him tell us a little bit about himself, introduce himself, and tell us a little bit about his shop along Route 66. Good afternoon. Mark, my pleasure. Definitely. Um, well, my name is Rich Henry. And uh, this all started as a uh, hobby, and it's still a hobby. And uh, we have fun here. It's called Henry's Rabbit Ranch. And besides the bunny rabbits, uh, this is Gilbert, our latest. He's a rescue uh, bunny. Um, we've had 67 to date. We also got Volkswagen rabbits. But the uh, furry kind are the best. And we get travelers from all over the world. And a lot of them, when they come in, they can't really figure out what it's all about. And uh, sometimes they'll come in and they'll ask. They'll say, well, what, what's this all about here? And I'll say, I haven't figured it out yet either, but we have fun. And um, growing up uh, in grade school and high school, I went to all Catholic schools. And the nuns used to rule with rulers. And uh, I always had a hard time containing my uh, thoughts, my emotions. And uh, it might be during class. Well, here, here we go again. But, uh, yeah, talking about growing up in the uh, 50s and 60s, uh, had a lot of fun. And what I tried doing here with this building was kind of duplicate what it would have been like back in the 40s. Uh, right now, I've started a little bit of a small renovation, uh, so the walls are kind of blank. And uh, uh, the, what we really enjoy is the people coming in. Uh, when somebody comes in, uh, the first thing I ask them is, where are you from? It could be uh, anywhere from Spain, Italy, uh, Germany, to the people from the U.S. And um, we've had every country come in except one. Which one do you think that could be? Uh, North Korea? Exactly. You're one of the few that got the answer right the first time. So, um, but yeah, so um, the, the last year or two, I would say the people from Spain uh, are probably about 30% of the foreign travelers. But they come the furthest from Australia. And, um, you know, we also uh, try to make the bunny rabbits part of our uh, entertainment for the people. And on the other side of our building here, we have um, a, a, a big bunny rabbit. Oh, I'm sure. Th this, this guy uh, right here. And uh, people can walk up and sit on him. It's a beautiful photo op. Even if uh, you happen to come by and we're not here, you know, please do it anyway. Gilbert's wanting attention. And what he probably wants is a carrot. Yeah. Everybody get ready. We're fixing yeah. to see the rabbit yeah. have a carrot. Here, Gilbert. Here. You want to stand up? Can you? Huh? No, he says, just give it to me. So I was trying to get him to do what Montana used to. And talking about Montana, it's been 11 years since she's passed away. But uh, a lot of the people out there remember when she ran for president back in 2008. And um, we have a lot of fun here. Also outside, we have kind of our own takeoff version of the Cadillac Ranch, only uh, we use Volkswagen rabbits. There you go. And uh, we got Campbell 66 tractor trailers out here. And uh, it's kind of a 66 icon in itself. And one thing I don't want to forget, most of us know Bob Waldmeyer. And uh, before Bob got his um, famous Volkswagen van in 1985, he had a, another Volkswagen, which uh, I never knew till 10 years ago he had it. It was a 1967 Volkswagen station wagon. He drove that from 72 to 85. Well, mm. that car sits right out here. Interesting. Yeah, so we have one of Bob's uh, unknown vehicles here. And, uh, but we really have a lot of fun. 
Uh, we're not here as much during the winter, November 1st to about the middle of March or April 1st. Uh, you might go for a day or two and nobody comes in. So it's kind of a way for me to recharge my batteries. There you go. But during the uh, regular season, which I could pretty well um, put in concrete, April 1st, uh, November 1st, we're here usually uh, Monday, Saturday, uh, for sure, 10 to 4, usually earlier, and a lot of times later. But you keep mentioning that's when they can come see you. Uh, can you give your information as far as who you are, what your location is, and where it's located, and how to reach out to you? Sure. Uh, well, first of all, we got a website which is uh, www.henrysroute66.com. So, you know, right there you could go to that, uh, and that'd give you all the information. You can hit on this one thing that'll give you travel instructions, uh, map and all that. And um, if you're old-fashioned like me, you're still using maps. And uh, do you know what a map is referred to as? I have no idea what's going to come out of your mouth, so I'm going to say no. Uh, an antique GPS system. Okay. That works. <laughs> or a flat GPS. There you go. But, um, no, we have fun here, and uh, I could go on and on, but uh, the thing is, come by and see it. Um, well, uh, one question. How many, You mentioned how many rabbits that you had had, and uh, it seemed like somebody's called it in, so we'll call it. Just, just, a just, just take a break. Hey Gilbert, are you a pretty good bunny? You a pretty good oh, bunny. Oh yeah. Uh, not Sunday. Sa Saturday would be the better of a day. Well, just let me know when. Uh, well, I'm in the middle of a uh, 66 interview right now. Okay. That was. Uh, that, that was. Uh, that was Bill Kelly on the phone. Uh, he's soon to retire from the Illinois Route 66 Scenic Byway. And uh, Jeff Ladd, his assistant, I think is moving on up to it. Um, yeah, uh, Bill has done an excellent job for 66 here. Uh, as far as uh, if you had somebody that, or maybe a couple of people that you look up to on Route 66 or that you've used as idols or yeah. uh, people that you really respect, uh, who might that be? Well, I'll tell you what. I was asked a little over a year ago if I could only visit one place on Route 66, where would it be? And my answer without hesitation was the Jack Rabbit Trading Post. Hi, Cindy and Antonio. <laughs> and uh, another person that really uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, jumped out at me to do it the way we do it here, because when I first started this in 95, it wasn't Henry's Rabbit Ranch. It was Henry's old Route 66 Emporium, and it was kind of bland. I didn't know where I was going with it. Well, in 99, I got a chance to meet Juan at the snow cap, Angel's brother. I had heard so much about Juan and his uh, entertaining of the people, off the wall uh, shenanigans. And uh, so I got to meet him. And I even uh, passed up the opportunity to meet Angel 20 years ago because I was so engrossed with talking and, and seeing how Juan performed. So when we came back from Arizona, I was uh, bound and determined. I was getting the bunny rabbits from my daughter to start off with. My dad had passed away, and I inherited all these Volkswagen rabbits from him. And I was uh, using this place for my uh, office full time as an insurance agent then. So I had time to be here and do stuff. And uh, that's when we really went crazy with the uh, rabbit theme. And Juan, uh, I'll never forget my experience in meeting him. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh. It was. If you had advice uh, for a new traveler Route 66, how would you suggest somebody do a new travel on 66? And what's the uh, the the thing that you really need to do along the, uh, the the journey on 66? Well, the first thing you want to do is a little homework. But uh, get yourself uh, a travel version. The one I recommend would be 
Jerry McClanahan's, yeah, uh, e easy guide. Yeah, this is the Bible of Route 66 travel. If you have that, you need nothing else. Uh, it's got maps in it. It's just filled with information. Uh, but also, you know, you don't want to get too engrossed and uh, worried about and that being a perfect trip. Just start off from wherever your starting point is and enjoy it. You can't see everything. You're going to miss stuff. Enjoy what you see. And you can always come back and do it again. And another thing, if you have a, a travel guide of some kind, like Jerry's book or a map or something, uh, whenever you go in somewhere, take it with you. And have people sign your book, because we have a book that we have them sign. And a lot of these places, have, uh, these travel guides or maps, they have some blank pages. Have the place stamp it. So when you get home, you'll have a souvenir right here. All the people. Yeah. And you just you just hit what I was inching toward is meeting the people. Meet. That's the that's the key. Oh, Don't my. do drive bys. Yeah. Actually get out and come in and, and yeah. talk with individuals and spend a small amount yeah. of money with them and, and yeah. help support them because yeah. these people are working very hard out oh, there. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely spend some time. And after you spend a little time with them, uh, you know, like here, we don't want people to feel obligated. If they come in, one of the things I say after I ask where they're from is, uh, you know, feel free to look around. If you see something you like, fine. If not, don't feel obligated. And if they... Uh, uh, still want to do something, what a lot of them will do, like right here, we have a contribution thing that goes to the shelter in St. Louis where Gilbert and all his colleagues are from. Uh, so far this year, it's a record year, we have raised over $1,500 just mostly in pocket change fantastic yeah. and how if someone wanted to make a donation to that uh, that may not be stopping by here is there a way they can do that well what all they have to do is uh, uh, make a check out to the Missouri House Rabbit Society and just Google search on the internet uh, that'll give you their mailing address and it is tax deductible it's a 501 c3 okay yeah well any final parting words and uh maybe uh, a little uh good introduction here and uh, maybe a little extra uh, show the rabbit could do for us before we sign well, off it uh, looks looks like know, he's already wanting some extra loving there. yeah uh sometimes uh gilbert will autograph postcards yeah are you gonna do it now gilbert huh so here, yeah, see, he took it away from me. That's good. That's good. You're done. So here he just autographed a postcard. Wow. Now, it cannot get any more personal than that. So if you come in, he might not be up on the counter, but he can even do it from his laying position on the floor. And right now, since he did something for me, he wants payback. He, he don't work for nothing, Gilbert. There we go. That might calm him down for a few seconds. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Rich, I tell you, the uh, the Bunny Ranch here. Yeah. Uh, it's been an interesting uh, experience, and I think that uh, what moving Mark is going to do is say thank you so much, Rich, for the uh, time. Oh, uh, my pleasure. And I look forward to uh, seeing you down the road. And for now, this is moving Mark with another episode of my Route 66 Spotlight. <laughs> Everyone, have a great day. Bye bye now. Bye. <laughs>